you ever used a bullet journal? I have a Notion template for a, why don't I have a template for anything else? Come on, Dimitri. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a craft docs bullet journal. So if we go to this new folder section and put bullet journal, what we then can do is create a new document. And the goal of this is going to be the home page for it. So I'm gonna just call it the bullet journal. So what I'm gonna do here is put a slash. So I'm gonna put here is type slash H2. And I'm gonna create some sections here. So this one's gonna be a current section. And then we're gonna make another H2, call it storage and do the same separator. We're gonna put an H3 or H2 and call it the key. And this is gonna showcase to everybody what exactly the different parts of our bullet journal mean. So a slash to do, this would be a task, a bullet, this would be an event. If we acknowledge priority colors here, do a slash H4 priorities, and then we do slash red top priority. We can do slash olive, which is secondary priority, and then slash default for normal priority. So then in this new document that we made in the all document section, we can move this to the bullet journal section. So in this folder now it's going to be housed. And if we wanted to as well, we could start so that it'd be in the start section. So in order for this to work, we're going to need a few templates to be made. So I'm going to do a slash card here and we're going to call this page here this week. Then we're going to make another card next to it. We're going to call it monthly goals. And then you're going to put another card below where storage is and call this the year that it currently is, so 2022 storage. Then we're gonna do one last section. We can put another card and call it yearly goals. We call it yearly goals. You can order these from this week to, and then monthly and yearly. And then we can put another one and called card yearly storage. Drop this next to the 2022 storage. And then last but not least, we're gonna make another card called monthly storage. Where we're gonna nestle this in between the yearly storage. And we're gonna actually then use the template functionality. So we're gonna to go to a new document, make one called this week. And then what we're gonna do is quite literally just go through and make a quick bullet journal of a bunch of H3s of the days of the week. So all I did was go through and hold on to these and then press control D to duplicate them and change the names. And then if you'd like, you can drag in some blocks in between. Now you have two options here. Either you can make it like this or you could do it where each of these is a different page itself. So I could obviously make a page and call this one Monday and then do tasks slash events and do the same duplication situation here. Just wanted to show you both options. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to all documents, go to this week, move to my templates. So then every single week, what you do is put slash template and you would pick this week and you could then put the week number in here instead of this week, if you would like. So what week number is in the year? This is week number 24. And then in the monthly goals section, we could put a slash H2 and put goals and then a separator. We could list out the different goals that we wanted. And then we could create a template here by creating a new document, moving this monthly goals one to my templates. And then you could put number six in here since it's June, you can put June 2022. And then anytime you'd want to make anything, you do slash templates, monthly goals, and it would insert it for you. And then the same would be for the yearly goals. You could do something similar where it's like slash template. Now the naming conventions are going to be up to you, obviously, but what I would see here for you is that you then organize the monthly storage. So for example, every single month, what you would do is you would go through and anytime you would finish a week, you would take these pages and then go into the my document section and pull in the weeks and basically copy these and then go into another page like the monthly storage when you get through this make something like slash page week number 24 go in here and then paste them into that page then if you go back to your bullet journal you can scrub this do slash template this week and then when you're done with this month you can throw it into the 2022 storage basically by doing this you make a new page called for example june 2022 go in here paste the different weeks in and then when you're done with that you copy this go into the yearly storage and then you just put slash page 2022 and you paste the months in there and you basically just copy and paste and move everything down the line from your monthly goals to your yearly goals and your weeks and months 
tasks and event wise. If you like this different type of craft video, let me know. And let me know if you like this video on how to improve your productivity even more.